<laughs> the geese are quite the acrobats. They do this little game in their pool. They like dive and flutter around. Our rain gutters are working really well. They're just like house gutters. And uh, we've got a pipe up here and a filter for leaves, plain tube. And it comes into our bulk tank right there on both sides of the gutters. And we got this door so we can access it. Gutters on both sides, and to fill up um, our big 65 gallon tank, we only need one inch of rain. And if we don't get rain, we can just fill it up with a garden hose. We got some sliding doors, and we put the dog food here because um, these guys are pretty defenseless. We do lock them up every night, but even during the day, we do have coyotes. So by having the dog food here, it kind of helps, it brings our dogs around. And it's a self dog feeder. And there's their bedding area back there. There's two sides. So next year when they start making their nests, they each have their own side. Dry food. And um, this water here has a float on it. And it's so when we lock them up at night, um, you know, they have somewhere that they can swim around and not be without water while we have them locked up. And then this is um, a door, but it converts into the ramp. And then we have another hose that's hooked onto a float. And so it keeps the water up. But they do pretty good about keeping the water in. It's more of you have to empty it out to clean it out every couple days or so. So that hose goes through there. It goes back to the tank, and then there's a second hose that goes to the inside water when everything's locked up at night. And everything's on wheels, so we can move it around anywhere we want on our farm, which is really great. Because to have these guys in the barn would just be really rough. They have a very large amount of poop. So it's nice to have them on the pastures. And then when we empty the water out, it's like instant irrigation for our fields. They seem to really like it and be happy. And our rain gutter system is working out really well. We just have to clean it out with a hose every so often, the leaves that get in there. But the amazing thing about these geese is these geese are really young. They're only about three months old and they already are huge. These white geese here, we got them at the same time as some um, chickens that we have. And the chickens that we have are like, no joke, about that big. And these geese are like huge compared to the chickens and they're the exact same age. And they just eat grass all day long. Grass and forage and weeds and... When they poop, you just see it's like blended up grass. It's the most interesting thing ever. They get fat off of grass. <laughs> Taking a dive. I think that's their version of playing. Anyway, they're using the ramp really well because their water and food's up there, so it's it's the encouragement that they need. We are trying to train them though at nighttime. They don't exactly want to go up there like we want them to. 
so we can lock them up. But hopefully they'll get the idea after a couple months of doing it. Anyway, overall it's working out really well. So the white geese are um, Emden, I think, geese, and we're going to process all of them at uh, Christmas time, or maybe Thanksgiving, and put them all in the freezer, six of them, for Christmas goose. And then um, these four ones here, they're called American Lavender. Lavender is a color, and I guess the breed's American. And um, we're going to keep them for breeding stock. We got them from Oregon as day-old poults. And they are the friendliest things. They are more friendly than a puppy. My little two-year-old is just in love with them and they love her. Anyway, there you have it. A mobile goose coop that moves really easy with either a four-wheeler, ATV, or lawnmower. Because of the really heavy water tank in there, that thing is like, it's impossible to push. Without that water tank, you could push it without um, a lawnmower.